Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and it's time to continue our research into what the heck foils are made out of. Uh, obviously, we know mostly what a card is made out of, you know, ink and paper, but what I specifically want to know is, is there metal inside of a foil card? There is very strong evidence that there is by putting it in a microwave, and there's very strong evidence that it isn't by boiling it. <laughs> so, I guess this will be the tiebreaker. Hopefully we'll have a definitive answer, because what we have right here is a multimeter. Not a very good one, but I tested it and it does work. In fact, let me demonstrate how it works. I've got it in uh, resistance testing mode with an anticipated uh, range of 200. Let's just take this can of Fresca because that's what I have sitting here that's metal. And we'll measure it from point to point. There you go. So you've got about uh, like 0.5 ohms because, I mean, come on, it's, you know, pure aluminum. Uh, now, if I were to do it from here to here a little bit further away, you can see we get uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, give or take, right there. And I'm probably not making perfect contact, but uh, yeah, let's try some scissors. Wow, not bad. Must be really low carbon steel, because I think carbon steel doesn't conduct very well. So, you know, right around 1.8 to 0 0.8 ohms, give or take, somewhere in that neighborhood. So you can see it kind of works pretty well. So let's stick these terminals through a foil card and see if we can get a reading. Uh, it should be similar to aluminum because, uh, as you know, aluminum is what I would suspect a foil card is made out of. All right, we're joined here by the Disciple of Phoenix. Um, I was going to continue with the pattern of using like funny cards, you know, that are kind of puns, and then use something to do with electricity, but uh, couldn't really find one. So <laughs> most of mine are not on the site at the moment. So let's stick this one through the card and hopefully this makes pretty good uh, contact. That's what I'm worried about. So this might not be a definitive answer, but I do have a plan B. There we go. And we'll stick this one right here. Ah. Well, as you can see, we do not have a reading on the multimeter. Let me just jiggle these, put sideways pressure on them a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of nothing. So, in theory, it should be making contact with any kind of metal that would be in the card right now. And um, I guess I could set it at a higher anticipated resistance in case it's just really thin. Yeah, still absolutely nothing. Well, just in case it's so thin that it's kind of skippy, let's uh, put it a little bit closer. Well, as you can see, that's pretty close. I'm putting, you know, pressure on it. We're getting absolutely nothing for reading, but I have another plan. All right, what we got set up here is uh, most of a computer power supply. I've got a rig to supply power even when it's not uh, supposed to. And then uh, I got a little inverter there and a switch. Now this blue inverter will up the voltage to a ridiculous amount and then light up that neon light. Let me just demonstrate here. There's the switch. So um, I think these run somewhere around, I don't know, 20,000 volts, something like that. So it's really, really low amps, but it's really high volts. So I happen to have a loose version of this cabling, this high voltage cabling, and I'm just simply going to attach it to the Disciple of Phoenix and see what happens. All right, here we go. Got it rigged up. Uh, they're probably making contact with the hole as well as I can possibly do it. So uh, hopefully this will give us a little bit of a result. With this much voltage, it could probably arc, boy, at least like a quarter inch through just air. So if this is some kind of high resistance metal, it will definitely have enough push to give us some amperage. So the card should, um, I don't know, spark or burst into flames, I guess. <laughs> don't worry, we got some fresca to put it out. Uh, by the way, to call this unsafe doesn't even do it justice. Do not do this at home. If I touched this, I would probably die. So don't try this. I'm an experienced electrician. All right, let's flip this sucker on and see what happens. Whoops, come on. Oh, boy. I am nervous. There we go. Well, I don't see or smell anything yet. Give it a couple seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna get really close, see if I can see anything. It's. I can, I can hear it humming. I can hear the inverter making a slight high pitched hum. So I know it's on. Hmm. Yeah, power supply is on. Everything's good. 
Well, this is strange. Really, really thought we'd get big ol' arc of lightning and a burning uh, path right through the card. Let me reseed it and see if I can do a little bit better. Well, this time instead of putting it through the card, I put it just on the surface. Theoretically, there's enough voltage to get past any resistance that the ink would have. Uh, and the foil layer should be pretty darn close to the top. So it only has to jump a fraction of a millimeter. Um, I've moved them closer together here. Uh, probably not close enough to arc, I would think. But uh, we'll see if this makes a difference. And the card wasn't warm at all, by the way. There we go. Hmm. Still no significant result. Very, very strange. Let me just uh, make one slight modification to make sure we're doing this correctly. There we go, it's a double output inverter, so... Yep, I would say there's voltage running through there. <laughs> and this inverter is actually rated too weak to run 12-inch neon, it's a 4-inch neon inverter, so that's why it's a little bit dim in the middle. Um, but yeah, it is, it's on, it's working, it's supplying voltage. But just nothing is happening to the card. Very, very, very strange. Well, I guess this sort of suggests that there is no metal in it. I mean, there's no way to make sure that the wires are making absolutely perfect content with or contact with any metal layer that's in the card. Um, but this is kind of two experiments that say that there's no metal, and one experiment that says that there is. So, very strange. I mean, I'm leaning toward it just being some kind of really clever plastic.